All right, let's do this painting. Hope you guys are all doing great. Let's get this painting going and see what happens. All right. So it's very simple here. I'm going to do a couple of figures, but I want to get my my dimensions correctly. There we go. I want to get my dimensions correctly, so I'm going to start doing a very simple, very subtle little drawing here. So here's my first figure, little head. Okay. There we go. Something like that. That's my first figure. And then I'm going to do a second figure right next to it. Because, you know, they're together. These figures are together, so... Kind of like leaning on each other a little bit. Maybe one, one is in, in front of the other. Well, we don't know. We'll see right now. Something like that. This other one. Get a little bit of blue, a little phthalo blue, the black makes a really, really nice, rich color. I'm going to get a little bit of purple, a little bit of purple and, uh, and blue. Let's get some red. Get a little bit more red.
Am I going to change my brush? Okay, so I changed my brush to a, a uh, wider brush. So now let's put some let's put some paint on this. Let's go after the pants right here, some jeans.
Very, very simple, my friends. So lots of the stuff that I've been doing lately is um, workshops. For those of you who may not know, I've been doing I've been doing painting workshops. I've been doing marketing workshops, and yeah, I've been very uh, very happily busy. Happily busy. <laughs> We're gonna put it that way with uh, all the workshops that I've been working on, and uh, yeah, it's it's been really fun. It's been really fun. People have been asking me um for years now to to teach them some of the stuff that I've learned and and so I'm very excited to be able to do that now um, and that's been that's been where my interest has been for a good while now it's been a lot of fun It's been a lot of fun. Um, the, the way that I'm doing them is that I'm mixing, I'm mixing two different types of workshops in uh, in the same platform. So the the workshops consist on well, there's two workshops that are being released every every month, and the workshops consist on on how to paint the way that I do. So I'm, I'm teaching people how how to use this type of brush stroke. How to do this type of brush stroke, and so that that way you're able to be more uh, intuitive and, and loose when you paint, which is something people keep asking me how to how to loosen up as they paint. And so one workshop is about painting and and things related with creating artwork, such as composition, color theory, and that type of deal. And another workshop is on on marketing. And that uh, everything to do with marketing, everything to do with with uh, how I market my work, the platforms that I use to market my work. Um, and so I sell these workshops. I sell them. Uh, I offer them to to uh, to artists. Um, I, I offer them at uh, well, you can you can buy them uh, a la carte. Let's put it that way, right? You can buy it. In the, you know, you can buy a workshop on whatever you feel like watching, or or you can get the 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 monthly membership. And the monthly membership is twenty dollars a month. You get all the workshops. So for just twenty bucks a month, you're, you're getting all of the workshops that I have to to offer. As I, as I said before, every month I release a new workshop, and I mean two new workshops. I apologize for that. Every month I release two new workshops and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people are learning a lot. Some people already begin to uh, uh, implement not just the, the way that I paint, they're also painting in a similar way uh, or learning, right? Learning how to do some of the similar brushwork and also begin to sell their artwork. I have a couple of students that are already selling their artwork on places like eBay and are already monetizing. They're already monetizing. And uh, you know, so it's really cool. I think I think it's a it's a very interesting thing. It's a it's a it's a different thing that I've been doing lately, and I feel very proud about that. Um, earning money as an artist is not it's not something that everybody knows how to do. I don't think it's very difficult, but but many people don't know how to do that. And so I've been uh, I've been very very happy to to be teaching that because um, because people are earning are earning income you know based on on the things that I've been teaching they're going and putting their stuff on on uh, on eBay and and you know auctioning their work on eBay or selling their work on Etsy and they're using some of the things that uh, or many of the things that I teach in my in my workshops and so that makes me very happy to know that other people are also reaching their goals. Because when I first started, it was a very difficult thing to do. It was a, it was a, I mean, if you don't know how to do something, right, it, it doesn't matter um, 
whether it's difficult or easy, if you don't know how to do it, it's always going to be difficult. Once you learn how to do it, you know, this is different. You're going to be like, oh, okay, I didn't know. I didn't think that that was easier than I thought. But if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know, as they say. And so those workshops really, really help artists. I'm, 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 I'm looking at that and I'm, and I'm thinking, wow, uh, I never thought that I was actually going to start helping artists that way to the point where they're going out into the marketplace and actually earning money from their work. And some people don't want to earn money from their work. Some people just want to be able to happily paint and be more loose when they're painting and not being be tied up, you know, with the ideas of what painting is supposed to be like and 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 finding their own voice, you know, through through using some of the things that I'm teaching here. Uh, you know, eventually people start finding their own voice. In the beginning, of course, you know their paintings may look may look like mine, um, but uh, but as they continue to paint, if that's what they're looking for to to to, to find their own voice, as they continue to paint, they're going to start carving out their own their own style, and as they do that, um, well, their experience is going to be much richer. Right? There's going to be more more uh, uh, happiness. I think there's going to be more happiness in their in their journey as artists because one thing that i keep hearing from artists over and over is when am i going to learn or have or carve out my own style jose when is that going to happen for me and it's a question that i get every day and i get it in different ways different people ask ask that same question in different ways and of course the, the answer is learn how to paint in a way that maybe you're learning from someone else and then as you keep moving, the, the style is going to pop out. It's going to start popping out. You just got to be patient. And, and most importantly, you got to be patient. But also, you have to learn from someone. You know, if you don't, if you don't know how to loosen up or how to paint in, a, in an expressionist way, um, your, your best bet is to go learn from someone who's already doing it. And because you're going to, you're going, especially if they're teaching it, right? You're going to learn... Uh, all these little subtleties, all these little things that I'm talking about here. This is what my workshops are about. Um, I talk to you about how I'm cutting this, right? This is negative space, cutting. I'm cutting into the image so that at the same time, I'm not just painting it, but I'm also, I'm also editing the image at the same time. There's a few things happening, right? So this is, uh, this is the way to do it. It's just the way to do it in my in my opinion i think that there's of course there's no one way of doing anything but but uh getting a mentor or, or learning from someone it's a pretty it's a pretty damn sure fire way of learning as opposed to trying to learn on your own there's nothing with there's nothing wrong with learning on your own it's just it seems like a longer like a longer journey a much longer many times many times not it's not just longer it's a uh, it's a very heavy journey because you have to find out you have to you have to find stuff out on your own and and that takes that takes a lot of persistence a lot of time um, what better thing than to learn from someone else who's already doing it not someone who's done it only but someone who's still doing it you know and to me that I find a lot of pride in that but when I teach people how to do this um, they don't see me as an artist that, oh yeah, Jose already did it and now he's uh, retired or something. No, I'm, I'm still working. I'm still, people see me that I'm still posting videos, whether it's here on YouTube or, or on Instagram or on LinkedIn or, you know, Facebook. People still see me uh, showing up and, and doing the work. And to me, that's very important. It's very, very important to show up and, and do the work because um, it, keeps me, it keeps me moving. It keeps me fresh. And 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 I'm I'm in I'm still in the game. I'm I'm actually early in the game, in this art game. Uh, I'm in the early stages still. I believe I'm still in the early stages of my of my career. And so, so yeah, as people as people have been asking me to, to uh, teach this stuff, I'm also learning. You know, I'm also continuing to learn. And, and the, the new things that I'm learning, I'm teaching them. I'm, I'm, I'm showing people how, how I've done them. Whether, whether it is uh, creating artwork, you know, painting or, or um, 
or um, uh, learning how to market something, how to market your work, how to price it, how to, how to package it and ship it. All those things are extremely important and, and, and people don't realize this. They go into this uh, career and, and they don't realize that it's actually, uh, it's actually a business. You have to pay a lot of attention and, and treat it as a business. You have to pay lots of attention. Treat it as a business because that's what it is. It's a business. You're in the business of being an artist. I'm not just talking about uh, the, the commercial aspect of it, but you are in the business of being an artist. And and if you don't know that, it's it's it's. I think it's very important to find that out as soon as possible. Otherwise, uh, you might end up feeling like like you're missing out uh, in in your own career. You're missing out. Uh, you know, you're you're you you have a lot of potential and you're leaving a lot on the table. It's really what I'm trying to say here. Lots of artists leave a lot on the table. They have lots of potential, but they don't realize that they are in the business of being an artist, and they think that that they can just show up whenever they want, or or if they learn a thing or two, they're good to go. That may be the case for some people, but that is not the case for everybody. Most people have really really need to push, really need to push them their work themselves, and 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 push into the marketplace. Uh, otherwise, uh, the chances are very slim of, of doing anything, doing anything in, in this type of career, because not only because it is so com it is so saturated, right? There's a lot of um, there is a lot of competition, and what I mean by competition, I'm not saying that other people are painting like you or this or that. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the market is very saturated, and that makes it very competitive. Imagine if you were the only person. The only person selling artwork on Etsy, and uh, you were the only person allowed to sell artwork on Etsy. Imagine, well, you you would be uh, you probably be a billionaire, a billionaire artist, or a multi-millionaire artist if you're the only one doing that, or you would be a very famous artist. Let's say you're not looking to make income, you would be a very famous artist. But the fact that that there's so many artists putting their work in there that makes it competitive. And so when I talk about being competitive or being in a, in a competitive marketplace, people think I'm referring to someone else painting like you or someone else doing paintings like you, not, not just your style, maybe, maybe painting in the same style or, or something similar, uh, but painting the same, the same uh, themes, you know. Imagine if, if you were the only artist who, let's take it down a notch, right? Maybe not. you're not the only artist. Maybe you're the only artist, not the only artist, but the only artist who can paint um, abstract work on a marketplace like Etsy, right? Imagine that. Or you're the only artist who is able to paint um, landscapes. Wow, imagine that. Out of every artist on Etsy, you're the only one, or on eBay, or on your, or or on online. Let's put it that way, right? You're the only artist who's able to paint landscapes. Nobody else can paint landscapes. It's almost like you have permission. You're the only one with permission to paint landscapes. I know that that would be a very silly world, but I'm just I'm just using this as an example to to let you know the power of the marketplace. Just to to share with you to illustrate here the power of the marketplace. Uh, and in that way, when you develop your own style, you're pretty much that artist. If you develop your own style, you're the artist who is, uh, who is the only one doing that. And the only one, the only one doing something is a very valuable thing in the marketplace. It's a very, very valuable place. As long as that only thing is actually valuable. Right? If it's not valuable, you could be the only one, I don't know. Um, uh, making uh, uh, some sort of doodles or whatever, but if people don't find the value, then valuable, then it, there's no point in it. So uh, yeah, you have to be the only one, but you also have to be the only one. Uh, that that only thing has to have some sort of value for it to work. Look at that. So this is what I've been up to lately. Making making workshops, making painting workshops. By the way, when you sign up to my painting workshops, to my classes, you're going to be able to see the entire palette. I'm going to walk you through every color, how I mix every color, how I mix, how, how I paint it, when I change the brush, when I'm cleaning the brush, things like this that you probably don't see that I do here. I get I get a piece of TP and then I, I wipe my brush like this. When I'm doing it, how often. And so that way you get a, a real sense 
of uh, not just the real sense. You 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 get the entire view of um, of the artist in, in the studio. How cool is that? You know, m many people out there show some stuff like you know like what I do here, and it's not necessarily because we're trying to you know stay uh, I don't know hide things or whatnot. No, it's because the, it, it makes the video super quick to make and and easy to make is what I'm trying to say. And so if the video is easy to make, then I can I can make more than one video uh, at a time. And this is how, this is what I've done. This is what many YouTubers do. Um, but then, uh, then there's also information that's missing. And that information that's missing, uh, a lot of people find that very valuable. And so that's the information that I put in workshops. All the stuff that it's missing here. All the things, the reference photo, the reference image, the drawing, right? What, what, what am I, how do I prepare the painting? What's the composition of the painting? And on and on. All those things that are missing, uh, all those things are in the workshop. They're in the workshop. And, and if you think that that's important, you're going to love my workshops. Because I got everything in there. Everything. And like I said, not just painting. But also marketing. I dive deep into marketing. I go into it and I and I explain to you. I, I I take you by the hand and I walk you through my marketing secrets to my to my formula. What I do in order to get my artwork sold. What are the things that I do? Now I can't promise you that you're gonna start selling and anything like that. No, what I'm promising you is that I'm going to show you how I do it. And if that means anything to you, if that's worth any value to you, uh, you're gonna love those workshops. I don't think it's uh, ethical or right to uh, to uh, make any promises about you selling artwork or you selling your artwork because uh, for many reasons, you know, one of them, it's just not ethical to say that. It's not right. Uh, another thing is that I, I don't know how bad you want it. Another thing is I, I, I don't know what your work looks like. I don't know if you actually apply yourself and, and you're doing the things that, that I'm uh, talking about in, in the videos and and on and on there's different there's different things but the most important thing is that there's information out there now and if you like what i do and you like how i'm doing it you like how i market how i paint how i sell my work if you find that any any interest in that you are going to love the workshops that i've been creating it's a monthly subscription it's just twenty dollars a month and you get two new workshops every month plus the workshops that are already in there some of those workshops are priced between forty nine dollars and three hundred dollars and uh, so far there's over 30 workshops in there and every month i'm releasing two new ones and we're going to start amping it up we're going to start releasing more workshops every time not just every month but we're going to start just uh just releasing more workshops people 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 are excited i'm excited about it <laughs> I love creating this workshops, first of all. And uh, so, yeah, so there it is. So, by the way, this was a demo. This is a painting demo. And I just wanted to uh, chit chat with you and let you know that you may be missing something here. And if you feel like you're missing, hey, where's the palette? How, how is he mixing the colors? How did he start doing that? Why did he, st why did he place certain objects or, or lines or colors or the composition? Um, how, how did he mix the colors on on the board here on the palette and on and on what colors is he using what brushes is he using what medium you know all of those questions well all those questions are answered in my workshops there it is my friends the name is Jose Trujillo I'm an artist I'm going to include uh, the link to my workshops I'm going to pin it in this video okay in the comments Go look for it if, you, if you're interested in that. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.